Today I want to talk about evolutionary astrology and uh, astrology in general and where the differences are. Astrology is a system of archetypes. We work with all the planets and the different signs and the different houses and it gives us a very um, specific blueprint of who you are and uh, dimension of how you express all these different inner aspects of yourself. So there are many different uh, techniques and tools in astrology as there are people to use astrology to look at a chart with somebody. Uh, many of those systems do look at the chart through a psychodynamic dimension. So all these inner aspects represent different ways how you do things. Uh, in evolutionary astrology we start out that way too. So we talk about your potentials and how you will do things and where you will have challenges. But then in evolutionary astrology we put in as a framework around that and we talk about why you are that person, why you are the way you are and why you have challenges in specific ways. So that really adds a whole other dimension. Because in a way when I start out with the, the psychodynamics, you're going to nod and say, yeah, 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 mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still valuable to do that because it's a way to reflect onto who you are and it will give you some ideas how you can live those inner aspects in a, in a better way, in a higher unfolding. But the evolutionary perspective looked at every aspect in your chart as something you really and truly want to learn and develop this lifetime. Like for example, if you have five planets in Leo, Leo the king, the queen of the zodiac. So evolutionary wise, we would say this is something you really need to learn. You want to learn this lifetime. So Leo is really about learning to find your own self-expression, to be powerful, to be the king, to learn to be the queen. And when we learn something, it also means we're not good at it to begin with. So then we have maybe the egomaniac, the, the one who really needs to figure out what it means to be in the center, what it means to be on the stage, what it, how it feels like to be applauded. But, uh, I'm looking at it, this is really something you want to learn this lifetime. Mm -hmm. And Leo also needs to learn how to experience joy. Mm -hmm. and, and the joy of self-expression and to be seen mm -hmm. and to be out there. So, so this is where evolutionary astrology adds just another dimension 